Hey folks, Damon at Black Warrior Lures. How to wrap thread on your on a on a uh, rotary vise? I love these rotary. This is the first fly tying vise I've ever bought. This is the Peak fly tying vise. I uh, forget the model number and all that, but uh, this is the first fly tying vise I've ever bought. I've never had any other type. I learned how to tie on these rotary vises, and I'm still learning. Um, that you know hey there's a lot more capability in this thing than I thought and normally you would use this in a case where you had let's say a bunch of yarn let's say you had bunches and bunches of yarn like this you know that you're gonna wrap instead of wrapping it by hand all the way up and down it just takes too much time we well, can just use this rotary vise save you a bunch of time uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about just in a uh, second here. Let me lay down a little thing of super glue. I need to start calling my flies super glue flies, man, because that's what's holding it together. So, in other words, you've seen me do this fly before where I say I would normally just be trying to wrap it down by hand. But one of the things is this big long piece of monofilament gets in my way and it knocks it all off center and it's just frustrating. But hey, with a rotary vise, you just come here, you know, and just take it like that. It saves a lot more time. And then if you want to do touching turns, just bring it back up, touching turns. Bam. And it automatically, just automatically touching turns, you know. You know, that's something that if you were doing that by hand, I mean only the I've only seen professionals able to do touching turns. Um professional trout tires and stuff. Uh I guess technically I am professional since I'm charging, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. The very fast and dedicated ones are guys who are really putting out high volume and things like that. Whereas I'm just doing custom orders, uh, one, at a, one order at a time. So it's one, one, two, three, four, five. And so that, this is the, the working on a batch of flies for some, some streamers, for some customers uh, who are buying these because I have the uh, had a lot of water damage here at Black Warrior Lures and some of these guys chose to chip in and help out if you want to help out with that go ahead and click the link below uh, open the description below and you'll see all the stuff that's on sale because I just you know you're trying to you know you gotta pay deductibles all this stuff like that Insurance company's been good to me Serve pro has been good uh, but you know hey if you want to try these flies and stuff check out that below but anyway back to the the lesson here again so the only thing I'm doing like this manually is just to get the thread started after that it's just let the vise itself do it and that's in rod building fishing rod building these guys who they have uh, machines that rotary uh, wrap the thread on the on the um, fishing rods. They're not doing it by hand. They're doing it by a machine. Well, we have the same sort of thing here. And so, um, there you go. This is so much faster and it's so much easier and so much more accurate and it's a lot, it's a lot better thing because I really can get touching turns. So, I guess the video is how to get touching turns with a rotary vise or whatever, or how to wrap thread with a rotary vise. And this is how I'm doing it. Um, now, does that translate to, yep, see, you, you got to kind of watch it sometimes. Sometimes it'll get away from you if you're not watching it. Um, again, these are the tandem hooks. I, all my flies are essentially tandem hooked trolling type flies. They can be cast fine, but, you know, they're, they're, I always get short strikes on my waters. One, two, three, four, five. I always have short strikes on my waters, so what I have to do is what I have to do is um, what I have to do is uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, with short strikes, I need to add a tandem a tandem hook. So uh, let's see if I can find that old Mickey fin that I was working on. A couple of weeks ago. Oh goodness! Tell me that fell down. All right. Uh, here's a Mickey fin I was working on a couple of weeks ago. 
Um, never put the eyes on it. I always put eyes on it. As you can see, a lot of, lot of noise in that particular fly. And that stinger hook gets them, right? Uh, you know, that'll get them. You see how that's hung up right there? So, so we're tying up a bunch of the stinger hooks right now, or the tandem hooks. Uh, all my streamers have tandems. Uh, you know, it gives less leverage to the fish. See, some of the old school guys, they would have these big, long shanked hooks. Well, that gives, the longer the shank of that hook, the more the fish has leverage to pry that hook out of his mouth. Once he hooks on that tandem guy like there, there's no leverage. It just bends and twists and all that. If he hooks here, he's got the big hook and he's still hooked. Let's say he gets rid of that, spits that out somehow, the back hook gets him. I mean, it's just, it just works, man. And that's why I time that way. Um, so, if you guys are wanting to time, I've, I've demonstrated that before on other uh, videos, but it's worth coming back to it from time to time. Just to explain it again, uh, it's good for saltwater flies, good for, I mean, I've even used these for, like, bluegill, you know, with number 10 hooks, uh, panfish, things like that. Uh, it works. So, I'll tie this guy up, and then I'll let you guys go. <laughs> Won't take up too much of your time. One, two, three. Super glue it down. I hope my hand's not in the way. Probably has been. My hand's caught on something off the camera here. So, there we go. Alright. Yeah. There we go there. Forgive the rain, it's just a lot of the windows are open. Every time I tie these, I basically leave the window open because I don't want to be sniffing glue so uh, see every now and again it'll it'll skip too far ahead or too far back just it just happens sometimes sometimes if you don't have the hook in there the hook is not perfectly aligned with the shaft so it's going in this weird direction so you kinda have to compensate and either reset the hook but I don't want to get my I don't want all that super glue on my hands, so that, that's why I'm not trying to reset it. And the, and the turns don't have to be exactly touching turns on this particular thing. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Whip finish it, and then there you go. Uh, spread out the super glue, cover all the threads, get it nice and soaked in so it becomes one nice hard unit. But that is how you use your rotary vise to for thread control. You know, and it's, it isn't cheating. It isn't you know a lot of. It's, it's just a piece of technology that is uh, better than what we had before. It saves time, and when your time flies for sale, like I'm doing, it saves me a lot of time and get your product out to you faster. So anyway, check out that sale, and I'll talk to you guys later.